strange. Hello. All right. Hello, man. hello, hello. Yeah, I think you look good, man. Wow, can see myself today. <laughs> <laughs> Are we taking a photo first? Thank you. Can turn off the music, please? <laughs> How do you like my new set? Fantastic, man. <laughs> got ambient light. No, everything. the best part is got aircon. Yeah. The last time we filmed one year ago, Chow Ta under the hot sun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The, those were the days, huh? Yeah. You came a long way, bro. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, I need to thank the guys who are here. Lah. So, uh, as usual, I need to start to give credit to people because uh, yeah. this is their place. So, here at Weekend Bike Fitter and also Bicycle Ranch, courtesy of Shane and Gary. Mm. So, we are here with... Um, uh, Francis, one year ago, we filmed your purple SL6 that was uh, amazingly popular. How does it feel to come back here, man? <laughs> Different oh. set. Has it been, what, one year? Almost one year. Almost one year. Wow, that's a long time. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean definitely happy to be back. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm glad, man. Today is very, very, very comfortable day. So, um, nice setup. And, um, Thank you. And, uh, and, uh, Thanks to the guys, man. Yeah, uh, we, we have to thank them like, because if not, I'll be under the... At least now, I don't film uh, under the hot sun. It's at night. Yeah, <laughs> But yep, uh, yep. still outdoors and uh, you are exposed to all the outside light. But, wow. uh, yeah. And with a bar there, you know. Yeah, there's a bar. So, hey, those guys who are watching <laughs> want to come here and get a free drink. Uh, must come onto my show, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for coming. Uh, you got here a bastion. Uh, you told me you waited two years and when we filmed your SL6, you actually apparently already have this ordered. Ordered ready, fitted ready, and waited like one one year plus really then. Wow. Yeah. So long time. So you had the SL6, then you ordered this, and you didn't expect it to take two years. I ordered this before I got my SL6. Mm. That was how long it was. Uh. When I was riding my time machine, and, I ordered the best thing. And now the time machine is no longer even there anymore. No, 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 no. I sold my time machine, I think, to a younger guy who has better back. Lah. <laughs> Why was it a very stiff bike? And it was arrow? super ultra stiff, but very fast. Mm. Very fast, very planted, very... Um, I think due to the long wheelbase, I think that the ride was, was superb. Lah. I managed to clock like very high speed. Mm. My, my car, some, some of my cars broken by the by the time machine I found it very hard to be to be broken again by the by the SL6 right yeah. so mm. you sold it because you were making way for this one or you just want to try new things selling it off I sold it because I wanted a more classic bike and then I bought my SL6 because I wanted a more very customized uh, customized bike as I told you so remember mm. so down to the paint colour to the stem to every single configuration the the, the everything mm. yeah, down to the nuts and bolts uh. so, and you still have the SL6 SL6 I'm riding yeah, yeah, yeah okay still. so this just came two weeks and um, good to be here uh, finally two, uh, two years man oh my god do you like constantly chase them and ask what is happening to my bike <coughs> were you so scared that they just you know close shop and run away with your bike <laughs> no lah no lah I mean the, the chaps at the Project Cycle has been around for a while and um, well back then they started with uh, doing fixies right Fixies were, were, was where they started and then I think it evolved into a more of a custom kind of a boutique sort of a, a bike building services. Mm. Yeah, so I, I, I think I trust them. So yeah. this is from Cycle Project store? Cycle Project. And so initially they told you what the wait was six months? <laughs> wow. I don't know to cry or laugh. Told me about what, six months? Uh, I should be able to get my bike. Lah. Okay, lah. so uh, let's go with that. Then later told me 10 months, then COVID hit uh, Melbourne severely and then followed by the short, world shortage of uh, titanium. So they, it's so rubber band that the, the time just keep shifting back. Mm. And, you know, eventually, I, 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 of course, I was not so pasty. Uh. I, didn't, I didn't keep asking them also. Yep. We, we continue. I, so I continue loving my bike, rode a bit. So backside got itchy. Nearly, <clears throat> I got an Ali Spring, but I, I, I didn't build it up, so I decided to sell it after all. And then uh, in between, I was toying the idea of uh, other, some other bikes here and there. Lah. What uh, were the, some of the other bikes, if you could share? Um, Scott Addict, RC, 
it's very nice bike I, I feel and then of course uh, maybe in the works like a Pinarello F then I realised uh, only one colour everyone's mm. riding the same colour <laughs> on the Pinarello F your Sunday ride you see all the Pinarellos only plutonium right <laughs> I mean okay granted the 2023 colour waves are coming out the, the darker blue and all but uh, yeah, I still feel too, too, too many and, and too expensive also. Yeah, mm. yeah. I okay. can't justify having so many expensive bikes. Right? <laughs> yeah. So then uh, you place the order for this through CPS. And because Bastion is a um, very bespoke bike, you don't get it. You can't buy it off the shelf. You have to place an order. They have to fit you and everything. It's customized to your geometry, right? No, actually you can buy it off the shelf. Oh, they have can. a ready-made one. So sometimes when you go to, if you're lucky, like, just step into T3, you'll find a, a ready custom, uh, not custom frame, a standard frame there, and then you can just buy off the rack. Is that cheaper? Uh, cheaper. Okay. Cheaper, faster, and whatever, but wow, really, seven star online, then you come, a, you chance upon these. Uh. Yeah. Is, the chances are more uh, slimmer than striking Toto. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so buying a Bastion is like buying a, a Rolex now, right you buy it like you said right it, it, uh, you waited two years and after two years the price actually gone up if you were to buy it retail right yeah, yeah the price went up went up 2k eh. but do you think if you were to resell it at the market you would cover cost cover cost yeah no bikes will ever cover cost are you like, sure <laughs> yeah co- pandemic is over so so bidemic is over so now mm. the, the, the oversupply of uh, bicycles here and there so I think now is the best time one should get a bike Mm. Right, so of course, if you can wait, I mean, it's a treat, right? You have your own customized uh, uh, geometry to your to your body, but unless you have really deformed body, lah, I mean, if not, then I think a standard fit won't differ much. Mm. To be honest, mm. I feel yeah. right. So this was bought two years ago, 2021, 2020? 2020. You placed order for this one. 2020 right 2020 yeah right and then uh, when did the news come like they emailed you like your bike is ready oh my god <laughs> you know I miss already um, two Chinese New Year <laughs> so I say okay it should be the next Chinese New Year already huh. then after that here and there hey, you know what your bike is here Chung Wei told me uh, before, before that a week I, I was having lunch at uh, Chiang Baru then I went down check out buy some stuff here and there then Zhu Wei was telling me, hey, uh, um, what did he say? Huh? Did he say something about, oh yeah, should be soon. Uh. I think your, your bike is at the uh, Velocraft painting already. I say, I, I opt for the new color one. What's so Velocraft? Velocraft is the, um, the painter, the famous guy mm. who painted all the, the bikes from Bastion and all the, that they used to be one cycle factory. Lah. So it's uh, like a seamless uh, production line. So this guy, Velocraft, now he, he has moved out since and opened his uh, bigger workshop. So all the, he, he produced some of the best colors in the, in the world, in the bike industry. Mm. So Velocraft is the guy to go to if you want a very nice shades and, mm. and, and, and whatever colors you, you can dream of, you can make it happen. Mm. So that aside, uh, Joey was telling me, hey, um, is that Velocraft ready? So perhaps uh, maybe it will come next week or so. Then, you know, next week I went down again after my lunch I always do lunch there right yeah. so so give myself an excuse to go to, to the bike to shop in, right? <laughs> hey it's me again yo don't forget me give ah. them pressure yeah. no lah <laughs> okay to be fair the whole span of two years never really give them pressure okay I kind of learned to live with it already okay and it's the longest time I ever waited for some things you know some, a, a purchase so long two years two years is a long time um, so so in the end he told me yeah very fast one ah you know, if I ship uh, Melbourne to Singapore one day only, I mm. say, sure, okay lah. Ne- next week, uh, next week, next week. I say, next week, next week, so never. I say, xiao liao. <laughs> December coming, right? So I went, I went for a trip, holiday with family. So I came back. Still not here. Xiao liao, xiao I say, surely this year I won't get, I won't ride on Christmas already. Then, then after that, he, he sent me an email. Hey, your bike is here, man. When you want to, whatever. I say, barang, barang. Wow, I straight away give all the things. You pay. drop everything. I pay, 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 you know, whatever. <laughs> New group set, whatever, ma. Yeah. You know, all that. So, so I went down with, with my barang, barang. They build it up. Then, yeah, I'm a happy guy. La. Wow. Two years. I, I can't imagine the excitement of getting his call, man. Like, I remember when I bought my envies during COVID, right? Even, you know, I waited one week. I so cannot, cannot wait already, you know. 
I'm like, when is my views coming? Every day, I keep checking my WhatsApp. Is this guy going to, from Elite, right? They're going to message me. Look at two years, dude. It's like, can you imagine, like, your kids, uh, you know, gone yeah. grown up for two years already. Right? Correct, correct. So, two years ago, my daughter learned horse riding, right? Uh. Amateur, first time. Two years later, today, she controlled to tame all the horses. <laughs> so, so, time has changed, you know? Two years, so many things has changed. COVID is over. COVID is over. No, I don't know. Yeah. But yeah. actually, when you place the deposit, let's say people who chicken out and they decide, like, hey, I, I don't want already because I've been there for two years, do they have a policy of, like, okay, we can refund it to you? Wow. That or one you're committed? Sure. I think you have to commit. You have to forfeit your deposit. deposit. Yeah. How much is the deposit? Um, I think they broke it into half. Hmm. So I paid half for it, six plus. Yeah. So how much is the frame, actually? <clears throat> I paid yeah. 12 plus. And now you say it's about 14, 14,300. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And, and this is the Bastion Super Legera, right? Is it look Super Legera or Super Legera? Super Legera. Legera, sorry, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Italian, but it's from Melbourne, so don't ask me. Yeah. Super Legera. So how many different <coughs> models do they have for Bastion? Is it only one? They have three. Um, the Road, which is the standard. And then, uh, oh no, maybe four. Hmm. Then Super Legera, the lighter, faster one. And then um, they have a gravel one. And then they have a demon project. So the demon project is like each country only have one. So it's a it's a it's a crossover between Bastion and uh, Velocraft. So Velocraft will paint the thing super blink, you know. So you see all the lux, right? You have all the straps. Those mm. are demons, ah. Mm. I think uh, we have one demon in Singapore. Yeah. How many Bastions are there in Singapore? Well, according to Junwei, the fitter but uh, fit skull eight. Or eight. seven. And, oh, uh, super limited. They probably super. deliver what one or two bikes a year. Wow, if everybody have to wait two years, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I think many people will drop out. Eh? Yeah, yeah. I kind I don't know how many people actually dropped out, man. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Have you ever came across somebody who rides a Bastion so far when you go out for rides? <clears throat> Once. You all say hi to each other. Hey, Bastion, two years, say, right? No, I didn't. <laughs> I say nice, but <laughs> then I just hammer off. I don't care, man. <laughs> Should I ask you how long you waited for your bike? Two so years ago. Yeah, I say nice bike. <laughs> then I just speed off. Well, you know the tears roll down. <laughs> yeah. So what makes a uh, Bastion special? Why is the wait time so long? The Melbourne-based bicycle company, right? Yes. Aussies, maybe they're more chill. So 9 to 5, 5 o'clock, go home. Well, I don't know, man. Maybe 9, <laughs> nine to 2. <laughs> um, okay. Um, I, think, I think Bastion gives you this sense of very be- bespoke feel. Lah. So firstly, you need to get your, your size fitted. And then they send the data over to to Melbourne and then the Melbourne guys they will draft up a 3D they will send it back to you then the fitter will discuss with you whether how is this how is that you know yeah 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 da, yeah da. then uh, before you confirm then you have you have to choose to customize your part law, what text you want to put you know behind at the down t- the back there and then um, and then the rest is really to wait mm. and then I, I believe they have two 3D printing machines and you know, to fuse titanium, you need a lot of energy. Um, you, have a, you have to use, I think, plasma, plasma and in, in vacuum. Then you can fuse titanium. So it's, it's quite scientific. Uh. So when they, when they have to do that, they keep the printer running all the way 24-7 mm. okay, to save time. And then once print, I think it, it takes about 72 hours to print one set. Mm. Yeah. It sounds like me exporting my 4K videos. So that's why now I'm shooting ten, uh, 1080 so that the quality will be, I mean, I mean, I don't know about the quality, but I think I did a poll recently and people say, why you shoot 4K? You know, you're just watching on uh, your, your, your phone, don't really need 4K. Mm. Hopefully nobody can tell the difference. This is 1080p. <laughs> well, I mean, if it keeps still, I think it should be all right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so you said you can put custom texts. Where, mm. can, you, where can you do it? Yeah, here. Only the chain stay. And it says that time will tell. Is it because you waited two years? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two years is so long. Time will tell uh, whether this bike <laughs> worth it or not. Or not. Yeah, oh will God. come or not or worth it or not. I know some people, they put like their country flag, they put their names. Yeah, 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 yeah. You could also have that option, right? You, you can have that. You can basically put anything on it. So, uh, anything in anywhere or only specific spots? Only there. Only there. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And this tell us this color this is just raw carbon and raw titanium. There's no paint, right? Uh no. I think there's a layer of uh matte finish from Velocraft. Mm. I was asking him, what's that to paint? Mm. So I believe he painted the logo 
and then with the uh, transparent uh, cover over. Like a lacquer, is it? Like a lacquer, yeah, yeah. You is it compulsory to have the Bastion logo there? Can you yes. not have it? No. <laughs> <laughs> but you can choose the color of what. Okay, the logo. Th- there's a few options. Your Lux, right? All your Titania Lux. This is the uh, raw finish. There's a uh, there's a polish. Which is glossy, and then there's a polish matte, la. so mm. matte finish. So, uh, and then of course there's um, the body can be glossy also, or you can have some um, chroma velato color, right? It's translucent. You can see through. So these are some of the options you you can get, la. But I, I decided I I I'd rather I prefer something really raw and mm. unfinished. Okay. That very industrial look, you see. Okay. Mm. Do you have to pay extra for colors? Uh, you do yes. How much is that? Colors are uh, depending on what you want to do. My friend's Bastion, he paid a thousand plus, uh, I think. Yeah. Just to get it painted. Yeah. yeah is yeah, paint yeah. so expensive? Paint very expensive. <laughs> thousand plus. Um, I don't know. Eh, it's something unique, I guess. Yeah. But I won't want to paint a Bastion. Uh. look at the carbon, it's so nice. Yeah. Why would you want to cover it up? Yeah. I seen some weird people they cover the, the 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 carbon. I feel quite ashamed. Send I think to paint extreme and go and paint some funny color. <laughs> no man, my heart, my heart pain. <laughs> I feel, I feel because the carbon is is done up in a way that is very unique. Mm. Uh, it's called filament winding. So when they wind it, they don't come to get as a tube but, uh, by default. They, mm. they in fact they wind it. So yeah. when they want worn it right, it, it has it creates this sense of very nice uh, Lego like blocks. So I think that that part is nice and under the sun it shines like. Wow, that nice. Mm. Yeah. You said you've owned I mean you've owned the SL6, Time Machine. Those are like very performance bikes, very mm. commercial bikes. This one's very bespoke, you know, wait two years for this kind of bike. Uh and, and it is very timeless, right? It's like a very traditional looking frame. Do you think it is worth twelve thousand bucks? What's the performance like? When you first got it, when you first rode on it, how was it? Wow, okay. I don't want to compare. It feels more time machine than SL6, confirm. It feels <coughs> more time machine, mm. meaning it goes fa- um, uh, fast on the flats? It goes fast on flats. It's very planted. For drivers out there, this is a Bentley. Mm. The suspension, right? It's very, it's very moist, very damp, but still responsive. But the SL6 is like a 911. Like a it's very fast, very nimble, right? When, when you take off, you just you pedal, it goes. You know, mm. this one, you pedal, it, ha- it hesitates a bit. But as you generate the speed up, wow. Maintain all the way. Last Sunday, I, I was flying with this. Yeah, it's quite nice. Because it's so expensive, right? Are you a bit more cautious, like how you ride, the way you ride? No lah. Just ride it. I think a bike needs to be ridden. So <laughs> yeah, just go Not for it. Not to be it. kept at home. Uh, no lah. Decoration. Yeah. But of course, with every ride, I I clean my bike. SL six, cheap bike, expensive bike. I clean. I'm a I'm a I'm a hygiene freak. Uh. Mm. So I I clean. I make sure everything, the, the dust, or the degrees or whatever. Mm. Just now actually when we were rolling here, I was pressing your rear brake and I was like, eh, where, what happened man? It's so soft, there's no mm. power. And then we brought it over <coughs> to our bicycle and so now we have a filming studio here, bike fitting studio, yeah, <laughs> the yeah, yeah. mechanic space there. Then we got Shane to check it out. So he said, what was happening? Um, the, the, the caliper, the rear caliper has some problem. I think it's a it's a it's a it's a product defect uh. It's a Dura XDI two twelve speed new one. Dura two yeah new one. Mm. So I think uh, we'll, we'll send it back to to settle it no? Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. Uh, Just a swap. Right. Mm. Uh, over to you. If you could run us through everything else, what else do you have on this bicycle? Okay. Um. Dura XDI two, um nine two seven zero. Um. The crank I opt for the very small one. Uh. 50-34 for more elegance look mm. okay also not a strong rider right mm. so I think the, the really big ones are, are overkill for me then cassette I opt for 11.30 so I think best of both worlds I can climb I can speed you know um, THN components the, the front which I love on my SL6 also I had the same uh, setup cockpit uh, stem and the, the handlebar, uh, handlebar yes and then a Berg saddle which I love mm. um, carbon lightly padded it fits my butt and holds very well yep. and then of course <coughs> wheel set NV 3.4 titanium carbon titanium hub mm. <coughs> very loud and then um, because of this hub right it's a 6 bulb um, I can't fit the center lock I had to 
be fitted with this uh, also from carbon titanium uh, the two rotors which mm. cost a bomb man 600 wow. plus so you were telling us a story why you suddenly made the purchase I mean because of 6 volt first of all yeah. and then also you were at Elite uh, no I was at this from uh, Project Cycle oh it's EBS yeah. and then you said they were gonna was closing and then you had to <laughs> immediately get the rotors yeah la, so I say whatever you have plug it in bro <laughs> So they, they, they put this in uh, plus, plus about I think 700 bucks uh, Just for the rotors right mm, For wow. two rotors 160 and 160 la. Okay. So usually you run 160 in front And 140 at the back Okay Yes Let me pick out some of the Very cool stuff First Which okay. is the OSPW Ogle I filmed one guy yeah. with the time I mean he said He said he was the first Is he the first or are you the first? <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, <clears throat> To be fair He's the first to To feed that on his bike um, but the reality is that I I I I chance upon this, so I make the order. It was like what six months ago. So then was no frame, mm. no frame. I don't want to fit on my other bikes, man. So I said, uh, reserve, uh, keep it, uh, keep it for me, uh. So I told she'll win. So he kept it for me. So six months later, then now my bike came to be fitted, lor. Yeah. So Ogle uh, is from this guy Joshua Ogle, American guy, right? Yeah, American. He's he's the godfather of uh, OSPW. In fact, he he's the one who he's he's an engineer who's looking for fun. Uh. So he's he's this guy who, who cannot sit still, right? So mm. he invented this this OSPW idea, and then of course uh, he uses very good uh, bearings on it. So I heard the bearings cost more than the whole assembly. Yeah. Wow! And how much is this OSPW? <sighs> the, can buy a bike. You can buy a bike. Yeah, it's about thousand thousand six. Okay. Yeah. Aesthetics only, right? Super crazy overpriced. Yeah, don't ask me. I had to when I see this I I, I fell in love with it. I know ceramic speed and all that, but but I think I think this fella will will look good on this pasture. It does it does look good. Yeah. Okay, that's on OSPW. Uh the rest pretty standard. Uh THM cockpit uh saddle uh sorry THM stem and bars. Mm. I thought this was from my SL6 but you said you bought another one for this bike. Yeah yeah. Uh why why THM are you I mean you said you were not looking for a lightweight build. Um <clears throat> accidental lightweight lah, but I like THM look. THM has this uh okay, when you build a bike, right? Just just imagine your head. It this this frame, if you were to put a dari mode, you look super strange. Why? The remote is too thin. Oh. It, you need a beefy stem to look to complete the look. I mean, aesthetic wise, right? Let's not talk about performance yet. At this junction, um, aesthetically, I think when your bike is is of a more beefy kind of a nature, I think the remote will look good on a you know those very skinny bikes. Mm. Yeah, but for beefier bike or, or fatter down tubes, then I think I think THM looks looks. Mm. Like what is look. the what is the weight on your bike? Of your bike? Um, 7.23 Okay With Paddle Lights Computer mount Everything And Yeah How heavy are these bastion frames? I think bastion frames about <clears throat> A kg lah Oh F- 950 to a kg Which is quite Similar to SL6 Do I they come my, in rim brake? Uh, they do They can build rim brakes Yes Okay I think my SL6 was what 900 grams After paint Mm. Yeah, because you repainted it also, yeah, right? Correct. Okay, uh, and then this is the NV three four three four three yeah. four with carbon uh, Gen two can't... three four, not the Gen three. Gen three is the new one, right? Yeah, tubeless okay. only, tubeless, oh, man, hookless, cannot. tubeless, hookless, everything dangerous. Dang- no. <laughs> no, 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 yeah. no, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, you're not a fan of the new one. I'm not a fan of the new one, man. Yeah, no, no, clinches or tubeless? <clears throat> clinches all the way. How come? I feel, well. If you want your life easier, okay, clinches. So tubeless, there's only that few um, tires you can use. Um, three months you have to service once on your own. It's a very messy affair. Mm. Okay, the thought of it already, I turn off already. So forget about it. So I just put clinches. I pump, punch it, punch it lah. Just change all. Yeah, no, you can't change, right? No, yeah. uh, I'm gonna. I'm I'm on clinches. I'm pro clinches. But maybe I would want to speak on behalf of the tubeless people out mm. there. They will say that, hey, I get puncture, you know, I'm, I'm laughing at you because you have to change your tube. <laughs> what? what if you get puncture then cannot seal? Oh, that one different story. Then I'm laughing at you, right? <laughs> that one different uh, yeah, story. So I, I think in the world, there's no perfect solution. There's always pros and cons for everything, right? But I, I feel for me, 
my style is I think clinches fits better. Mm, okay. I, I can have more play with the tires also. Yeah. How wide are your tires? Um, twenty six. This is a P zero. Mm. I always wanted to find P zero, but I think the whole entire Singapore run out of stock P zero twenty six. They have twenty eight. Is it very popular P zeros? Like why do you choose P zeros? Because I always on the GP five thousand man. I want something new man. So you try GP five thousand P zero. Which one? Which one is faster? Wow. P uh. <laughs> P0? I think I don't know I feel like, Okay this is more Damn lah Okay But I find GP faster Fine fine Thinking thinking Maybe because uh, The absorb slash P0 is more absorbent So maybe I don't feel so much shock I don't feel the speed mm. So if that one Is, is rougher The GP5000 uh, Is less comfortable Is, is rougher right So you, you, you Definitely na- Human nature you feel, you feel faster Right so like I bet you You will think that You're faster on the 25 Versus the 28 But actually a 28 Is technically faster How come? Wider tyres Wider tyres faster ma. Scientifically proven hmm. But if you are on the 25 And you pump up to 120 PSI <laughs> Like how you ride <laughs> <laughs> Then then, But of, co- of course You feel faster on, fast. the, on the thinner tyre You feel faster Yeah yeah. But I'm actually slower Correct So but you actually are You are 28? I'm 26 I, oh, 26 Yeah, yeah. It, 90 PSI uh, 90 PSI 26 Yes Okay wow well, I, I got, it, got it right yeah, 90 yeah, PSI like, Cannot too soft also <laughs> You feel like Lack of power yeah. yeah Okay and then Burke saddle This one also from your Like similar as your Previous bike right Correct correct I have like Four Burke saddles um, They are nice lah Why are you still Sticking to long nose When everyone is I uh, wouldn't say everyone But majority are Short nose Long nose feels more comfortable, no? Uh, for me, it hits my balls. La. It's a bit painful. La. For me, yeah. la. maybe big, big balls. Big balls. <laughs> but this one hold my, hold my balls well. La. So, <laughs> so it gives me some support when I... When I and aesthetically, it looks good. Mm. And I, I have no complaint. I have no, no back pain, no butt pain, no nothing. So I really think this saddle is, is perfect for me. Mm. Oh, my SL6 now is running a Roman mm. power saddle. You going but on 3D printed soon? Will you be No, no, trying? that one is the the, the, oh, the Roman oh, 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 yeah. So which one is uh do you, is 3D really much better? It's not a game changer la, but it's much bet- it's slightly better la. Mm. But for this if you don't shake and bounce much, actually you don't feel anything. Mm. You just hold your butt like somebody holding your butt during the whole ride. Right. That's it. Yeah. Mm. It, uh is the bastion the in game? You gonna get another yeah. bike? Are you eyeing something else now? So in life, uh, there are many end games, right? <laughs> so bicycle, I, I, I asked myself, what is an end game of bicycle? So mm. these few things came up, like Bastion, Firefly, Prova. Prova is new, new kids on the block. Uh. Uh, Matt, Matt is getting Prova. Hello, Matt, you're watching? Is he getting Prova? <laughs> I heard. Uh, Matt, I also heard, uh, you're getting Prova. Make sure you come here. Okay? <laughs> yeah, I heard a nice one coming uh, on the way. Don't know, la. don't know how real. La. Okay, anyway, so... So everything has an end game, right? You 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 play car. So I have many hobbies, right? I have found, I collect fountain pens. Oh yeah, I I I I collect cameras. So everything I always try and try the end game. What it feels like to be above, you know. But but to be honest, I realize um, as I come of age, there's no end game. End game depending on individual because some some people will feel that. Uh, a Tarmac SL5 Is the end game for them Because it really is what Everything they want in the bike And you ask me True If I can reverse time uh, I won't buy this bike I won't buy all these bike You mean this one? Yeah I will buy A Tarmac SL6 Pro On a 105 group set And be done with it Yeah Wow Yeah Yeah yeah. But, but like you said It would never be end game right? Like let's be- say Okay if I give you the chance Because to go it's back. such marginal gain Right, this one versus time machine. How much gain? No gain. But but it's always human nature to want more. Like we want the latest, want to try. Right. Uh, I am such a person. No, that's why I buy these. I think it's not you. I think it's everyone. Like, <laughs> if I have the money or I have the capability to do it, I want like every day. No, when change. you want, you will find the money. <laughs> you see, so your your want is still not enough. That's to, true. To, to, yeah, true. to drive you to find in search of that money, right? So when you want something, you, you really find, find, find money for it. Mm. Yeah. So what my wife always says that every time I pitch to her on to buy a new bike, she say, why don't you sleep, sleep over it tomorrow, then you won't want, want, want it. 
<laughs> Let me tell you a tip bro <laughs> Marriage tip 101 mm. So when you have When you want to buy something Buy first Don't pitch the, Dude, Then I will regret The pitch will never go through one. Why would you regret It's something you want right Think properly Think through Research But I There are some people Who just buy 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 Without researching Then that one I, I won't have my respect la, But I think I think when you When you're truly interested In something You will find How they're made The technology behind it this looks like such harmless bike, right? But actually, it's quite high tech. It's three D printed lux, eh? Mm. Yeah, this is year two o two two, eh? They they were out like two zero one four. They started two zero one four, man. I can I already imagine out, the man. keyboard warriors. What they were saying? They say so what? You know, you spend twenty thousand all this three D printed. I still drop you on my Decathlon bike or Triban. Ah, so there are few, a couple, a two types of cyclists. Okay, one is poser like me. I buy <laughs> oh yeah, meeting it. <laughs> yeah, I buy expensive bike. I ride slow. Yeah, it's mm. okay. So then there's another type. Like, wow, hammer, hammer, hammer. Every time hammer. I don't know what. So you have to ask yourself. So you hammer so hard. Are you fast enough? Faster than me? Can yes. But are you faster than others? They always be faster. Are you even in the national sport? Are you even in Tour de France? Are you representing any? You know? Do you have sponsors? You know? At at the end of the game is. It's just your own fun la. Mm. Okay la. Then again I'm not so slow so la. <laughs> so, Live so, life Yeah yeah. Just, just enjoy Enjoy the ride You know you have Your training days And then there are days That when When you just go for cafe uh, Social rides And then I, I I think quite sensitive In Singapore la. Same like the driving scene also When you try to overtake somebody Because you're just Rush of time They will see that As a challenge <laughs> Singaporean Time to race Time to race hey, Really I don't want to race I just I'm late for my meeting Right I have to rush And then there's a So, so cycling committee Same Right So when you just Wow Maybe you're doing Your FTP test That morning uh, You just search uh, Everybody think Wow this guy Just hammer Like hammer Then become a race <laughs> <laughs> Toward the Singapore uh. Yeah It's always like that So so you want to Now you want to pass people uh, You're like hey, Hi hello mm. I'm passing you uh, You know Things like that <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Must big minded la, be more big minded la. I think I think at the end of the day, you no, know, everyone has their struggle, everyone has their good days, bad leg days, but it's okay, just have fun, man. It's just it's just right. It's, it's just riding, it's not like end of the world or something. Mm. Yeah, more than more than bicycle, right? Outside of bicycle. Yeah. What kind of rider are you? Are you uh you say you're a poser, but I don't think you're a poser, you look quite uh fit. How often do you ride? Uh, I ride I ride three times a week. Oh, I, a lot. I like climbing a lot, but I also like climb Mount Faber at ten loops. That's about oh, it. Uh, boring, that kind eh? of boring. Uh. No choice. Uh. I like to ride alone. So uh. because my, my, my work is very stressful. Mm. So so when I ever every time I get a chance to ride, I will ride alone. But of course Sunday is uh, Friends Day, so we'll ride, have fun, chit chat, catch up a bit. I think that's a nice social aspect of riding. And um for me, my my FTP what two 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 thirty or two forty ah mm. yeah not a lot ah. I, I don't even know my FTP. I never <laughs> did the test because I got no time and I couldn't be bothered. Yeah, so <laughs> so that translates to about three point four watts a kg. I don't mm. know if it's good or bad, mm. but I think I think okay la, I can ke- I can keep up with the faster rider on mm. on, on weekends ah. Any more upgrades on the bike? Mm. Or like you say, in game. End game. There's nothing, nothing to more to. There's nothing more to be done. What else you want to do? Let me think, huh? Okay, they're psycho. They 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 asking me to change this crank to this uh, THM. THM and uh, carbon tie. I have no confidence, bro. Why? <laughs> I heard stories about it, lah. The last thing I want is like, wow, you climb and you search, then the thing break. You you. Uh, mm. Yeah. Actually, on on the topic of breaking, right? When you let's say if uh, touch wood, I'm not high power, but t- uh, carbon tie. The uh, chain ring Is known to have problems uh. mm. The teeth come out oh. Two teeth come out You, you die yeah. You die on the spot man <laughs> yeah. yeah But but on your frame Let's say if anything happens To the frame Break Or whatever right What's the warranty like And are you, is there like An exchange program Not exchange program Like if anything damages Are you wow. able to buy A new one for a cheaper price Or they just refund you A new one what, what they say is that I can send it back They'll fix it up Proper for me And, and make it wo- Rope worthy lah. But um but I think they might even replace it. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Hopefully don't know the day never warranty. comes. Hopefully the days never come. Uh. I'm, yeah. a, I'm, a, I'm a safe rider. La. Okay. I'm not those chong chong chong. You see those in the front. Uh, the wheels like 1cm. No <laughs> la. I, I'm a safe rider. So I, I keep my distance. Okay. 
Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, sounds yeah, like yeah. me. Uh, my friends who are watching, this is the guy. Every time I chong draft very close. <laughs> because there's inter- instances uh, when you when you're so close, then the one in front just wow, chong yeah. pothole, then kana you, yeah, yeah, you yeah. can't see anything. Not yeah. only that, especially if you are drafting so close, when they offset a bit, then your bike goes a bit slower. Uh, there's times where I was on West Coast Highway and I drafted my friend Marcus and then <laughs> it's very close, very, very close. And then I think he got off saddle. So once you get off saddle, you're a bit slower. Then my front wheel overlap. And then I was like, oh shit. Wow. And then I had to quickly keep out. Overlap is yeah. scary. The eh? guy is cursing me. That's why people don't like to ride with me. Because your strength, you should be in front. What? What, are you, what are you doing at the back? <laughs> That's why you see my Strava so fast, right? It's actually become uh, drafting people. Oh. Yeah, you look at my power, it's only 120 plus. Okay, not, yeah, yeah. not fast at all. So, so to be fair, Strava, mm. Strava, Strava is not like Confirm yes. uh, Realistic uh. I think every, Anybody who wants to take A realistic ride To test your own power Draft nobody Go to TMCR Do alone Do alone mm. Do one look That's it That will be telling How yeah. fast And how strong a rider you are You go all the Mandai whatever Roll down Wow 50 plus Kilometer per hour eh, It's all an illusion uh. <laughs> Whatever Flat Headwind comes You take Then you go Then you, you, you feel I'm not a fast rider But I'm just speaking Because you know, this is what we call reality check. Uh. Hmm. So some people, wow, my, my speed 42 km per hour. Okay. <laughs> you happy, Gary? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Any new bikes coming? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, put you on the spotlight. Um, maybe something Italian. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Let's see. If yeah. that one comes, uh, please come here again. Go to the, the hot seat. If it's worthy of your interview, I'll sure, sure come. La. I mean, of course. Now it's so cozy. Got beer. Got, got beer, aircon. aircon uh. Uh. I remember, if you want to come and get nice. free beer, uh, book online, okay? Book for interview slot. It's free, by the way. Get, get free beer, free chair, everything. I edit your videos for you for free also. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to move to IG questions. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is a funny one. How does it feel to have this bike and see other cyclists drop their panties? By the way, drop their panties I think a bit difficult Because uh, you're wearing bibs and uh, <laughs> Drop their panties means what? I think because they see Such expensive bikes la, They uh, They will like, do anything for it la. Like these uh, <laughs> Dropping drop. the mic <laughs> Okay Drop their panties Okay, no la. I think just Just friendly law Not you don't say hi People say you how lean but, but have anyone actually Come across you And just uh, compliment you And say wow, nice bike Okay, to be honest I, I've ridden this bike For two weeks only Two mm. weeks only I, I managed like four rides um, but I get compliments ah. Nice bikes mm. ah, wow, Nice bike ah. Your friend got nice bike ah. <laughs> If people were to ever ask you uh, Non-cyclist You mm. park at the hawker centre They ask you Hey how much is your bike What will you tell them wow, I will tell them the Cheap cheap lah How much ah? um, Maybe 10k Wow, 10k quite on the high side also. Uh. Is it People ask me sometimes I will just say uh, 2000 2000 And uh. 2000 they get Why are you so low profile Ah, scared lah I, like, think I, I mean, I don't, want to show, I don't want to give the impression that I'm buying such an expensive bike, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially when you are slow, right? <laughs> so like, what <laughs> now? You just now, you're going like, what, 35 km per hour only? You're drafting people. Oh my god, and your, your bike is so X. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, next question. Ordering a bastion is so technical, how did you know what exactly you wanted? How do I know what exactly? Such as what? Measurement. Measurement, uh, I leave it to the me- fitter lah. Okay, so how's mm. the fitting process? You go to CPS, ding uh, dong, ding dong here. Uh, fit skull, fit skull, mm. fit skull. Then he fitted me, and then of course he, with my current bike. Mm. Okay, the one I'm riding, and asked me some questions here and there. I think it's, I mean, if you're you you you're riding long enough and enough times, you 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 kind of uh, will know how you will be fitted on the bike, mm. how the bike will feel. You feel better. You know, just down one, one cm, you, you, you can feel it really. Mm. If you're a new rider, then of course, I don't think you're so sensitive to all these changes. Mm. Like your bar, you, you, you extend the stem by, by one cm or cut by one cm. You instantly feel and the, the whole bike feel will, will change. So that was like a bike fit already, right? Meaning you don't have to go for another bike fit because this is already custom made for you. Yeah, custom made for me. But when the frame, when the bike was built up, I, I did another fit. Mm. So just to adjust here and there, set the move a bit, you know, <laughs> have to have to show you lah. He's yeah. doing job lah. Yeah. So move a bit, move a bit. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, it fitted nicely lah. I didn't, I didn't really have to adjust anything when I when I when I went back. Okay. Yeah. When when you so maybe to top onto his question, right? Like you have all these parts already on your bike. Was it more of like you bought the frame first, then you started deciding on the components, or you already had envisioned what you wanted? <laughs> okay. 
So when I got the frame, I ordered the frame, I say I want the rumored, uh, 10 rumored Dura HDI2, mm. 12 speed. Wow, happy. Although I don't know the reason why we need 12 speed. Uh. I, mm. I really think 9 speed is enough. 9. 9 is enough, <laughs> hey, bro. 9 is enough. Mm. So, so 12 speed, um, electronic, faster shifting, all the rumors I read, wow, very shocked. I do now already one year old group set. Then mm. the bike came. So finally, I'm on DI two. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So okay. so when I had a frame, then I decided, okay, this frame to do what endurance ride. I didn't want to go for a deeper set of wheels. I don't need to really sail in the wind because you know Sunday ride sometimes the gush of wind can be. Wow, that time, mm. that time was thunderstorm. We were struggling, man. Mm. So so I thought, okay, a lighter wheel set, but still want to be aero gain. Uh, so t- three point four is nice fit. Sorry, I, I can't remember because we've already been speaking for so long, right? Uh, didn't you try another more bespoke brand like Fesca or Prova? Why Bastion? Fesca, I heard stories, so I shall not comment here. Okay. Uh, Bastion? And what else? Prova? Prova. When I ordered this Bastion two years ago, Prova wasn't popular. Hmm. Okay, I think Prova was. Prova just arrived in Singapore. And um, Josh had one. Mm. Yeah, the, the bike mechanics in the, mm. the CPS. shop. Yeah, CPS. Okay. Why $28,000 custom but not fully integrated? This is the guy who asked you about your ogle. Oh. He's the one who stole your ogle. Everybody just want integration. I was speaking to the bike mechanic just now, right? Both of us mm, confirmed don't like because it's such a pain to do anything. Mm. So sometimes I'm a handy guy. I do my own things, right? Mm. So I, I sometimes I will, I will, I need to flush. I need to whatever, you know. So sometimes I feel like it. I will change my stem length also. I will feel length. So I sometimes do rotation and yeah. I feel like it. Mm. Is it because uh, your feet is not right? That's why you keep changing? No. La. no la. I think time to time, you, you feel better. You feel more... I mean, when you ride more, you, you feel in a better form, you want more slam, mm. then go with it at 130. Uh, you know? mm. But if you feel lazy a bit, slack a bit, then one, 100 is things. This 100? Okay. This 110. You have 130? Yeah. Wow, that's very long. Yeah. <laughs> okay. so, so, of course, with the, the extended length, the whole bike feel will change also. Mm. It will be more non responsive. You yeah. feel more arrow? If you feel more, more arrow, stretch. more planted, yeah, mm. but, but less responsive for sure. La. So I think um, I think the uh, integrated cockpit for Bastion don't look so good. Pardon me, uh, I mean there are bit non believers. So also, there are integrated cockpits for yeah, Bastion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Also also 3D printed. So with that option you will actually not get the Bastion batch on the on the fork. Oh. Because the fork actually you will have this 3D printed uh, mm. steering mm. on on top of your I think to strengthen your for the cable to go in to mm. strengthen your entire fork. Mm. Yeah. So at the bottom you also have a bit of a 3D printed at the tip. Mm. So with that then I, I, I feel this looks better love with a batch on the side, quite nice. Right. Mm. No judgment from me, but prepare to get roasted over the price. Nice looking bike. The reason he said this is because this guy appeared on my show before. He mm. has a specialized Ale Sprint and everybody roasted him on his bike. Pay so much for an aluminium bike. Are you crazy? <laughs> so prepare to get roasted on this bike. <laughs> How do you put a price on everything? Mm. Right? I mean, I'm... I mean, there are fortunate people uh, and then there are le- less fortunate, right? But at the end, it's just riding, right, guys? Don't have to take it so seriously. <laughs> because how can you be angry with somebody driving a nicer car? Or you can be angry with somebody driving a lousy it's car? It's jealousy. La. Why so jealous? jealous? So they get angry. I mean, life is already so tough. I mean, just be nice and and say hi and smile to each other. La. Why, 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 so, why so bitter? One? <laughs> I, stress, find, stress. I find life, you don't need to be so... It's like those mornings, right? You see the rise, wow, haven't wake up, all like bitter look on the face. Uh, actually, that is me, man. I get very grumpy. <laughs> yeah, grumpy <laughs> face, morning rise. I mean, morning rise should be happy. Just chit chat, have fun, you know, just, mm. just enjoy the ride. So it's, it's part of the, the, the riding process. Yeah. If you don't enjoy, then you probably shouldn't be up riding. La. So if you're so bitter, man, maybe you'll be bitter your whole life. Oh. Maybe they're bitter because uh, their friends dragged them into a very long ride so they say, oh shit, today I have to okay. go 100k. Okay, I, I won't deny 
this is very pricey bike okay this is way very pricey bike the the returns you're getting is not worth it it's so marginal so actually the follow-up question is is there any performance upgrade or is it like no upgrade uh he's asking compared to sl6 uh? a bike will ride a bike okay this one i think sl6 is more responsive faster okay um this one holds speed well so i was i was going at 40 45 48 it held 48 for a long time eh. mm. i don't know maybe because because i i'm fitter now i don't know but <laughs> but but perhaps but you cannot put price doesn't equal to performance ah. let's put it this way ah. uh, a very expensive camera doesn't shoot better than a, than mm. a, you know those very automated okay a Leica doesn't shoot better than a Sony mm. confirm I mm. guarantee you is the lens better maybe 20 years ago but now I think Sony lenses are better than Leica's Hmm. So how do you justify a, a, a fourteen thousand uh, dollars range finder camera, manual focus in in two zero two three right? So I don't think you should put a price on anything. So if the bike is what you like, if the look is what you like, you enjoy the bike, push the bike out. You, it keeps you you know awake in the morning. You wake up, you feel like you want to take the bike out for a spin. Then that is the bike for you. Hmm. That's why I was saying earlier. If you ask me, I will not buy anything. But SL six one oh five group set be done with it. Mm. I get drop. I get drop. Lor. Mm. No, it's okay. Just enjoy. Enjoy the time with the buy and all. Yeah. Mm. Uh, on your apparel, PNS or is it pronounced Mark or Mac? Mark or Mac. M A P. The brand. Uh, P PNS uh, uh, pa- Paranormal Studio. But this guy is asking. You prefer P? Will you go for PNS or M Mark Mac Mark? Or oh, Map. Map. Uh. I like PNS. Uh. I think PNS and MAP, they have very good fabric. But I think when you wear a mechanism, like the one I'm wearing now, it's super ultra tight. <laughs> and, then, and then, of course, after wearing this, uh, it's hard to wear other jerseys. I, I have MAP also. Mm. But I, I like MAP's zip. I don't like PNS zip. It's too small. Mm. So when you're riding one hand, you see, you can't pull it down. Yeah. MAP, you can. Right. So you have to do this. How do you wash your jerseys? Do you put it in the machine or hand wash? Uh, hand wash. I do hand wash. So after ride, go back. I wash my helmet, socks, clothes, gloves. Give my bike a wipe down. Maybe if the chain is dirty after rain, I'll degrease the chain and then I'll, 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 I'll wax it again. Mm. Yeah. Okay. How is the support from Australia? Well, you don't deal directly with Australia, right? So CPS. Yeah. How, how's the support? CPS ah. Mm. How support? I only ride for two weeks eh. Haven't have support lah. Later I'll bring the, the bike for the for the Shimano the caliber exchange lah. Then that's support lah. But when you were d- building this whole bike communication with them, everything they were very helpful. They didn't ask you like stop chasing me like, Every time you keep asking me when is the bike coming. Hey, the thing is I never chase them. Ah, okay, that's okay. the that's the that's the funny part. Okay, I really mm. like given up. I forgot about this bike actually. Mm. Then, then every time I got reminded only after my lunch, go, go, go CPS. Oh, I have a bike. It's not here yet. Then I remember. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, I was having fun with my SL6, really. Right, it's a very right. nice bike. Okay. I got no more questions, but uh, my question to you, to the audience is, um, to younger riders who are watching out there, how can they afford such an expensive bike? And also should... Should people buy such expensive bikes? I know you said you get SL6 105, that's enough. That's my closing question for you. I don't want to sound preachy, uh, but, but I think if you, if you can afford it, it's a blessing. Treasure it, buy the bike you want. Okay? If you can't afford it, don't be salty. Find the money. By what means, work harder. Law. Right? Because I work extremely hard, man, guys. You see the way I, I buy my bike, right? You haven't seen the way I work. I work so hard. I work h- harder than any of you. <laughs> I think I work so hard, guys. It's no joke. I mean, the advertising is a, it's a highly stressful yeah, so environment. Do do? Advertising. Okay. I, I'm, the, I'm the creative director of uh, my own company. So, okay. so we, we deal with some advertising here and there. Lah. So, but, but I work so hard, man. What does a creative director do in advertising? Creative direct people, no? Okay. So I, <clears throat> I will be at the set for, for, for film, for shoot, TVC. I will do strategy, digital campaigns, 
uh, how you want to roll out a campaign based on who which of influencers to a point stuff like that yeah wow am I an influencer you quite influencer <laughs> Maybe. I don't see myself as an influencer. Actually, funny story. Just now, you know, you came here. There's a bike fit, right? So mm. I, was, I was, I was just doing my own thing over here, reading, uh, editing some videos. Then the guy, the wife came in first. Mm. You're know, a two person, right? Then so you hug- judge her on her bike? No, no, no. <laughs> they judge her. <laughs> so she came in. She parked her bike, and I was just like, okay, hi. So she didn't know who I was, right? Yeah. My mask and my shades were on the table, so I think she didn't see. <laughs> then she walked in. Then after that, her husband came in. Then I said hi to the husband. Then after that, the husband noticed the mask, and then he looked at me. Yeah, the guy oh, you the I watch one. your videos like, hey, she should have recognized the t-shirt I don't know lah he didn't see the t-shirt and now he might be watching this video he said his wife watches my videos for educational purposes now you know like cause that's why she came here for what educational theory. purposes I mean to you know maybe she was <laughs> looking for a bike I, I, I don't know what educational purposes you're, oh you're referring God. to but <laughs> Okay, my, I my didn't know you you <laughs> have that that part of you. Uh, okay, <laughs> can be influencer lah, <laughs> fan only la, can la. You uh, do, I subscribe, <laughs> but I won't watch. So how do you rate my my new setup now? You much comfortable compared to one year ago under the hot sun blasting in your face? Yeah, yeah, yeah. hot sun blasting the face. <laughs> I was told different sun la. I was told by him not to you know cannot back face la. So the sun must face. <laughs> I was like, la, 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 la. then must see my face. <laughs> Struggling uh. <laughs> But, but I mean it's, it's a lot more pleasant now I mean While we're doing the interview I can have my Bike check or yeah. what, I think quite nice Quite nice, quite nice. I, I, It's a nice format guys Yeah I, I got to get, again Give credit to Gary and uh, Shane Because this is really Because of them I'm here If not and I'll and still and be I, an and, I, and I have something to say Of course you You always have to support The underdogs right Because this is what We are right um, At the end of the day Bigger company Don't need your money so mm. if you have the money to spend, go to the underdogs. I mean, they'll give you more love. They'll be honest with you and then they'll do a better job for sure. Mm, that's mm. true. But actually uh, on, on that point, right, I, I don't want people to, to subscribe or pay for my membership just because they want to support me. It's more like I want you to actually watch my things. And I pay and watch, right? It's nice. <laughs> yeah. It's nice content. And Thank then, you. And then you get... Uh, um, it's just... Few bucks a week, right? Yeah. Eight a month. Yeah. Few bucks then, a month. Then, then, then you, you, you get so much fun interview. Uh, you can see interviews before they, they are even re- re- released. Then you see his uh, bike rides, quite nice. Can see my face, only fans huh? can see my face without yeah. a mask. Then sometimes you can see his face, sometimes he tight tight or whatever he <laughs> wear. <laughs> then you can see la. Then be inspired a bit, some, some, some cycling fashion la. <laughs> Right? I think it's nice, it's nice. I mean, I mean, thank you for doing this. It's, thank it's, you. It's nice. I mean, a lot of people through your videos, they found their passion, their, their, their dream bikes also. And now your, your whole YouTube channel is becoming like a category of bicycle. <laughs> so if I want to buy any bike, I just go down. Search but you really, you really need to change um, different types of bike. Too many SL7. Uh. Too many SL7. Really. Yeah. But unfortunately, that is the popular bike here. It's the bike of choice. See, the person who came in SL7 also. How about I, I hunt for you? Uh. Mm. Weekends, uh, I see interesting, but mm. I pass them your name card. Yes, yes. No yeah. name card, but uh, tell them to tell contact them, me. Uh. Really, contact you because I've seen so many interesting bikes. But a lot of them are shy. I yeah, have one friend, know. new one. Okay, Scott Foy. The new Scott Foy coming. Okay, can you come on? Yeah. Tell him got beer. I bring him here. Yeah. <laughs> Steady. So, sh- so many interesting bikes yeah. out there. So nice. Yeah. Right? Hard yeah. to get people because they are shy. Uh, no lah. Just, la. just uh, they are undercover, right? Don't want to reveal who they are. Which I understand because I myself, you know, I don't want to reveal who I am. <laughs> you don't reveal because you are worried the girls fall in love. Oh, uh, married, uh, married, by the way. My wife watches this one and disclose first. Huh. Okay, <laughs> la. can. Uh. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, Francis, thank you so much. Good to see you again after one year. Uh, thank you. Hopefully, you, don't ha- you are not placing a bike for another two more years that you have to wait. <laughs> and then I can get you on again if you have another bike. <laughs> so, so come back here every year. Uh, uh, every know, year, you know got one place. new bike. You know the place go already. On. You know the place. Enough, already, enough. Already. I really no space. Already. I hate it. I, I have to start selling my stuff. <laughs> All right. Thank okay, you so thank much. You. Uh. All right. Okay, okay, take two. <laughs>